we're going to move forward to looking at the metric system and just look at those base units for a second. So the first thing I want to do is write down that word base. And then from there we're going to create three arrows. Oops, uh, I want to grab a new pen here. So uh, my first arrow, we're just going to say our base unit is in meters. That's if we're measuring the length of objects. But if we were to measure the mass of objects, our base unit would be in grams. And if we were to switch to capacity, our base unit would be in liters. Cool, so we have our three base units listed, but these are not the only three units that you can use to measure objects. Using the metric system, we can convert to uh, smaller sets of units. Let's go and get some arrows down. So this is if the units are getting smaller. This is if the units are getting larger from that base set of units. Now the reason you're able to convert from one set of units to another set of units, such as your base units, and convert them to smaller sets of units or convert them to larger sets of units are because the metric system, it's a decimal system of measurements. And it's set up using, think of it as set up as being able to convert from one set of unit to another by using multiples of 10, or think of it as base 10 or powers of 10 that you are able to convert to smaller or larger numbers. In fact, I'm just gonna put the 10 on this side of the arrow. So I wanna just put a multiplication symbol right next to it, so multiples of 10. And we, I already said we can move uh, down or up. Well, in fact, I said it's multiples of 10, but then I drew a multiplication symbol. Uh, let's go into just actually add a division symbol. So although it's multiples of 10, uh, to convert from one set of units to the other, you may have to multiply by 10, or you may have to divide by 10. Regardless if you're multiplying or dividing, there's some simple tricks I'll show you in uh, future videos. You're basically just going to have to move the decimal, a specific number, uh, or a set of place values to the left or a specific amount of spaces to the right. Well, regardless of what our base unit of measure is, whether it's meters, grams, or liters, let's go ahead and look at some prefixes for other sets of units that we um, can convert to. So we could look at uh, smaller conversions. Um, deci would represent the tenths. Uh, centi would represent the hundredths and milli, M-I-L-L-I, is the prefix for the thousandths. So this is good for the smaller units for now. Let's go ahead and look in the other direction. I'd write deca for 10, hecto for 100, and kilo for 1,000. We'll look more into conversions and converting between each set of units in uh, future lessons, but let's go back to our Earth and Moon example, looking at the difference between weight and mass. So let's get back to this concept over here. We said, well, weight changes if you travel from the Earth to the Moon, but mass doesn't change if you travel from the Earth to the Moon. I was saying, well, you know what? Your, the amount of stuff that you take up will stay the same. Another word I want to put down here are uh, the atoms or the molecules that make up that stuff. So I'm just going to write the atoms. You know, I could take a, a loaf of bread and break it up into slices, cut it up into slices. Well, the same amount of atoms, if you could trace them, would still make up those slices of bread. And if you were to share that bread with someone and one person eats the bread and another person eats some of the bread, well, if you could still trace all of those atoms, that would still amount to the same amount of stuff, it's just broken up, it's changed form a little bit. But the, the matter or its mass is still the same if you can track all of those atoms or all of that stuff. But the question is, is mass and weight the same thing? Well, it depends on who you're really talking to. If you're talking with a scientist, or they're going to tell you no. Mass and weight are different things, they are not the same. A scientist might tell you that um, you mass 50 kilograms on Earth. They're saying 
that's how much stuff you take up, but you weigh, I'm just going to put weight over here, and let's actually change that color. But you weigh, well, 50 kilograms, that would be uh, roughly 110 pounds. So the scientist would say, hey, you mass 50 kilograms on Earth, you weigh 110 pounds on Earth. Now, if you were to travel from Earth to the moon, that scientist would say as you travel from the Earth over to the moon, your mass doesn't change, but your weight changes. But an everyday person, they wouldn't say that you mass 50 kilograms, you weigh 110 kilograms. But an everyday person or everyday folk, they wouldn't use those terms in uh, common language. So rather than saying you mass 50 kilograms, they might say, hey, you have a mass of 50 kilograms. But if you were to step on a scale, they might see that the scale uh, reads in kilograms and they might say, hey, you know what? You actually weigh 50 kilograms. So this is common language, but it's a, it's a misrepresentation. It's not 100% accurate. Now this concept really gets more into uh, philosophy and terminology and who you're talking with. And that's not really what we're trying to do in this math class. Well, regardless for this class, if you use mass to describe someone's weight and you say that they weigh 50 kilograms, you're probably going to be okay. Now, I'm not going to say that's okay with everyone you talk with. I think you need to um, get a good understanding of what your teacher is looking for before you start using that word mass to describe weight in, in other classes. But in this class, you'll be okay. And as long as you get the, the main idea that weight can change and mass doesn't change depending on where you are in the universe then you're gonna be alright well one last thing to think about before we leave in this video it's a good way to think about these two concepts if you're gonna speak like that scientist well mass doesn't change it's the same on earth and on the moon and um, if that person's mass is 50 kilograms well it's absolute it doesn't change in if you're on earth or on the moon Let's go ahead and write that word absolute, and then I'm just going to box it up. So the mass would not change. However, weight does change. So if you are 110 pounds on the Earth, then you're going to be lighter on the moon. And it's not that you have changed in weight. It's that the gravity is different on Earth than it is on the moon. Therefore, since the gravity is different on the moon compared to the Earth, your weight's going to be different. So mass is absolute while weight, it's relative based on gravity. So let's write down that weight is relative. It can change depending on the amount of gravity. Cool stuff, guys.